We begin today in Santa Margarita Lake, where the lake levels exceeded 100% capacity thanks to the winter storms. KSBY News' Lindsay Hyatt has more on the impacts. Winter rains left Santa Margarita Lake overflowing this year. I'm Lindsay Hyatt with KSBY, your community reporter in Santa Margarita. While some areas benefited from the rain, others needed some repairs. Recreational fisherman Al Price has been coming to this spot for over 60 years and has seen Santa Margarita Lake at its highs and lows. I've been here through every flood season we've had since the 60s and I was also, you know, around, took pictures when this lake was down to a stream a few years back. So to see the water up to where it is now has been phenomenal. Price hopes next winter is just as wet. I hope it rains similar this next winter without any flood damage. The Santa Margarita Marina was flooded floor to ceiling. The store we're standing in now was completely underwater. Marina manager Eric Mink said last year's storm cost them their structure and four months of business. We had to gut the whole thing. We had to pull all the insulation out, wiring, wooden walls, anything in here. We had to rebuild the whole store. But with the flood came a revival of business. With the lake being full, it did help. Now it's better for fishing. It's great fishing and boat rentals and stuff like that. We're getting uh, so much more business. One that helped Minx and his team rebound. As much as it was a bad thing, it was a good thing. For anyone in the community heading to Santa Margarita Lake, keep in mind that while some areas are optimal for recreational activities, there are some that are susceptible to power outages due to the storms earlier this year. In studio, Lindsay Hyatt, KSBY News.